Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make Windows Mixed Reality headsets actually work on your new Surface Book 3. Now I really wish I didn't have to make this video, um, but frankly out of the box, even though Microsoft fully makes the operating system and the hardware of the Surface Book and built their own VR platform, Windows Mixed Reality, the Surface Book out of the box straight does not work very well at all. Um, in mixed reality. You get stuttering and double vision um, and it's largely due to the NVIDIA driver but uh, I still blame Microsoft for this because it's all their platforms and they should be responsible for working with NVIDIA to make this work because you can have a really decent experience even on the 13 inch Surface Book 3 with the 1650 and I'm going to show you how to make all that run but if you're someone who just got their Surface Book and you're just like this doesn't work I'm here to help you out. So first, I'm going to show you what the problem is um, and try to show you through the lens what's going on. And then after that, I will show you how to apply the fix so you can get up and running with a really great VR experience on your Surface Book 3. So let's take a look. So what you're looking at here is a through the lens view uh, into the headset. And it's almost like it's alternating frames between the left eye and the right eye. It's very apparent when, you, when you're when you using the device that something is not right. Uh, it, it's dizzying, nauseating, and there's basically uh, stuttering. And as you move your head around, you kind of see both eyes kind of uh, spread apart and sync up. It's, it's very strange. Um, but in addition to this, uh, if you look at the Steam VR, settings once that's running and there's a trick to getting that working by the way too which I'll go over in a second it only is running at 45 frames a second and uh, the performance as well is very choppy and really is is I mean it's just it's essentially unplayable and you would initially uh, if you had just barely installed this you would think oh well my 1650 is not good enough for VR and that's what people are saying, but really, I'm going to show you how to fix that because it it is good enough to do it. You can do really awesome things with it, um, but just by default, the drivers and the configuration that comes out of the box does not work. Okay, so now that you've seen how mixed reality using an out-of-the-box surface is not an ideal experience, I'm going to show you how to fix that. So, um, that double vision can be cured by using a very particular driver. Uh, the 436.48 driver. You want to download this particular file, 436.48, notebook Win 10 64-bit international, DCH. So you definitely want that DCH driver because uh, otherwise you may run into issues. But uh, the problem is, is when you run this, and try to install it so when you go to try to install this you're gonna get an error and it's unfortunate it won't let you proceed with the normal installation process so what you want to do is go to the folder where it extracted everything the NVIDIA folder and what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit control or C or right click and go copy and then right click and paste and that's going to create a copy of this NVIDIA folder which you want because it contains a graphical driver because when you close this window it's going to erase everything so we hit close and now that NVIDIA folder is gone so if you make a copy of it you can actually get access to those drivers so the next thing you're going to do is hit the Windows key and type device manager and then underneath display adapters you're gonna find your GTX 1650 and you're gonna click update driver now don't click search automatically but click browse my computer for driver software and then you're gonna click let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer and you're gonna click have disk so you'll, you'll drill down until you, you're in the display driver folder and you want to go to that folder again and choose 
NV disp right there, that's fine. And then it's going to pull up all the compatible drivers with this. So what you want to do is, there's actually quite a few max queues in here. I went with the first one and that worked just fine. So uh, click that and hit next. And this is probably going to kill my video feed. So I'm going to, uh, well, let's see what happens. It's going to give you an error here saying that this is not recommended. We're going to say do it anyways. Jump because you don't work unless I do. Okay, so now at this point, you will have successfully installed the drivers for this device. And if you want to make sure you have the right one in here, uh, right click this and go properties and go to driver and your driver should be dated 9-26-2019 and not the 2020 driver. And once you've done that, this actually works very smoothly uh, for VR. But there's one more trick that you need to do. Um, when you try to run Windows Mixed Reality, uh, when you try to launch it, it literally just disappears and does not work. So we, we have to fix this. So what you want to do is you want to right click your in Steam, your Windows Mixed Reality, and you're going to go to Properties. You're going to go over to the Betas tab, and you're going to want to select either the beta release or the LKG release. Now, I don't know the difference between these. Um, both of these, the beta and the LKG work. The stock one does not. I don't know why, um, but I've been using the beta. I have tried the IKG. I didn't notice a difference between them. Um, but select the beta, and you can see in the background that updated. And the next time you launch it, it will actually launch Steam, and all your games are going to work properly. And now you can see things are running at a smooth 90 frames a second. And it's actually moving really smoothly. I know this is like not focusing for you. But when your head's in the headset, you can tell a distinct difference when you're on this correct driver. Uh, 90 frames a second, not 45, not stuttering like crazy. And it's super smooth and you have a really great gameplay experience. So just a few other bonus tips. Uh, if you want to get the full frame rate experience um, out of your VR setup on Surface Book 3, you will need a USB-C to um, HDMI adapter. This one actually accepts 60 watts of power to help you keep it charged up if you need that. Um, but it also is a HDMI 2.0, which means it supports 4K60. So if you have an, you might have a USB-C adapter. I had one before, and uh, it worked just fine. But one thing I realized is this is not, this doesn't do 4K 60. It's not compliant with actually the Samsung Odyssey. But what it does is it is it downscales everything to 60 frames a second in Steam VR, where this one can actually do 90 frames a second because it supports the 4K 60. So if you have a USB-C adapter. Um, just know that if it doesn't support that, you're going to get a lesser frame rate. But here's the, here's the thing. On the 13.5 inch Surface Book, you actually might want to cap your frame rates at 60 frames a second uh, just in order to uh, relax the load on the GPU. Um, and so that is an option if you want to cap your frames at 60 frames a second. Just keep using your normal adapter. But if you want 90 frames a second, step up to 4K 60. So hopefully that wasn't too hard to follow. Um, just keep in mind, uh, take responsibility for your own actions. Uh, I, you know, if you can't figure out your drivers or how to work them, reach out to me. But you know, take responsibility uh, if you screw up your system. That's your own thing. I mean, we're just installing drivers, so uh, don't worry too much about that. Uh, but uh, I have noticed that my uh, Surface Detach works just fine on this old driver. Uh, no issues with that um, at all. No negative effects from rolling back to that previous driver. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you appreciate this video, like and subscribe uh, for showing you how to get the VR working. And uh, I'm going to send you out, watch me play through 
uh, some VR footage so you can see how much, even this, this is the 13 inch version with the 1650, how well it actually can run VR applications for the doubters. So anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.